be seen. Ooh. But I do have it zoomed in. This one has, we were just talking about this the other day, has the little planes in it. Yeah. Too bad they're already painted. Oh my God, they have little propellers on them too. <gasps> do they spin? That would be cool if they spin. I don't know if it's <laughs> All right, ready? Uh, it's up to you if you're ready. Yeah, ready. Hey guys, welcome back to another Gimpy's Gal Guesses. I may be a little bit excited for this one because I just looked at the box where we were sitting here and there are actual planes in them, which I was just talking about the other day, how I prefer, I call them figurines. He insists that they're not figurines, they're models. So I prefer games that have models and, and they match what it is. It's not just a little square cardboard cutout, but it's an actual plane in this case. So today for my Gimpy Scout guesses, I'm going to be guessing, uh, is that Andrea or Andrea? Andrea? Andre? I'm reading the name at the top. It says Andrea and Giolino and Pier Giorgio Paglia. Is that who made this game? Uh, Wings of Glory, Battle of Britain, a game of World War II air combat. Um, is this the game company? Air Ares, Ares makes this. So this is already picking my interest. I absolutely think this packaging is perfect because it has this little window here so you can see that there are actual planes included in this, which I mean, I'm pretty sure most people who play these types of games, this is not like a deal breaker for you. But for me, it's very much like if I had to choose between this and one of the others I've guessed, this is gonna be my go-to only because of the planes. So let's open this up, show you the back in just a second. But I do really like the little clear window in the front. All right, let me take this out so we can see the back. Woo, everything is right here. I like the tray. All right, so the back of the box, um, supremacy in the air is the sole method that is open for us to regain our old island independence, Winston Churchill. So it just, I guess, has like a little history thing on the back, and then it kind of just shows, I guess, an example of gameplay. Um, let's see, contents. So for one, uh, one to 200 scale airplanes with their specific gaming bases, four maneuver decks, 18 special cards, full color rule book and scenario booklet, four airplane consoles, don't know what that means yet, two measuring rulers, six punch boards of counters, that is a lot, and then tokens and markers. So that's what comes in this, that's the back again. Just stick that right there. All right, I do like this tray. It's very organized and um, I didn't used to be all about that life, but I am now. Have you opened this already? Oh, okay. Here is the rule book. It says right there, it's very tiny. Like it's just small, but definitely packs a punch because it's just chock full of information. Obviously it's the rule book, but sorry, that's not what's interesting to me. I'm gonna save these for last because I'm so excited about this. So he's already had kind of peeked through this, so there's some that are missing. <laughs> But they were there when it was brand new. But this is one of the six, um, I think he was clipping them. Maybe that's what he was doing. But anyway, that, I'll get to those in a second. So here is the scenario booklet, I believe. Does it say, yeah, in um, inventing, oh, you can invent new scenarios. There are ready to play scenarios. So from the front of the box, it says, what does it say again? Game of World War II air combat. So that's what this game is. It's an air combat game, that's my guess. And you have scenarios that are ready to play, like it says right here, and then kind of a general explanation to invent your own scenario so you can customize it. Um, so this is has just, I guess, the ready to play and then kind of the tutorial on how to create your own. So that is the scenario booklet. And then here are the, Counter sheets. What? Why were these already? You were clipping them? Uh, practice game. Oh, he was doing a practice game. Usually they're brand new, not even opened by him. Like he usually just opens it to see if everything's in there and then hands it off to me. But this one he's been wanting me to do for a while. 
well, not a while, but for a few days, he's been bugging me to get this up. So he already started so that he can get a playthrough up, which I'm going to talk about at the end of this. So here are the counters. Um, obviously, there's some that are missing, but these just look like your generic um, counters. So there's the front of that sheet and the back of that sheet. Let's put those there. And that's upside down. So that is, I'm assuming this is this is the front and this is the back. I don't know what the letters, we have A, B, C, and D, and then we have some numbers, and on the back we have more numbers and more symbols that I have no idea. Obviously we know it's an air combat, so I'm assuming that these have something to do with things that happen in the air in the game as your combat. Um, these have little tools, some of them have tools on the back of them and like a um, like a scope symbol. So I'm assuming this has to do with repairs and these probably have to do with when you're firing, how close or how, you know, far you can fire or how, what's the word, how precise you can be maybe, or how powerful your weapon is. I have some more here with some different symbols. I don't know what these were, but I'm sure you'll see in the playthrough. Um, these have more numbers. We have two, four, eight, 16, and 32. Don't know what that is significant. And then clouds or tornadoes, it looks like. Um, and on the back, it looks like this. So again, I think these are just, a lot of these look honestly weather related or directional. Um, some have little circles, some had, like these have wing, like different air flowy symbols over the wings or behind the wings. Like this one looks like more of a jet propul propulsion type of thing. And then like the pilots. So I don't know what all of these mean. Um, and these, honestly, I, I don't care about the counters in this game. I'm so excited about the planes. Here are some more counters, more numbers, more letters, more arrows. I really just think it has to do with damage taken, repairing it, firing, directions, turning, weather, that kind of thing. So the last sheet of counters. More arrows and numbers and other weather and pilot symbols, so they are what they are. Oh, he's got some of them already down in here. Okay, so here are the four, um, what did it say they were called? What are these called? Bases. The bases for the planes. So we'll try to put one of these together in a second. He's got some of the counters already down in here. Here are the rulers, I'm assuming. Is that four rulers, right? Was it four rulers? No, here's the two rulers right here. So here are your two measurement rulers, which I'm assuming what this is reminding me of or the vibe that it's giving me is um, Star Wars. What's the game that you play called? X-Wing. X-Wing. Sorry. It's giving me that vibe with the, with the measurements because maybe this is a turn or a firing range. Um, that's what this is kind of reminding me of. Don't know if that's accurate, but that's what it's reminding me of. These are definitely pieces for the stands. I definitely know that. And there's some more, it looks like there's extra or unless, yeah, we'll give you some extra ones. And then here are the cards. I don't know if you want me to take all of these out. So these are, these all have the letter A on them. So that must be significant. Don't know, I'll just kind of look at the back of it. Okay, these look like, um, sorry if you can hear Bradley in the background. He is a very emotional three-year-old right now. Okay. So, sorry about that, but um, I'm just gonna kind of peek through these a little bit, but these ones here in the front of this pile, they have the letter A on the front, um, they look like this, and then the back, they have these different arrow, like directional things. It, again, it's giving me a very X-Wing vibe as far as maybe you draw these I don't know if you draw them at the beginning of the game or during the game, and maybe they can tell you or give you options to choose from um, in your flight pattern and, and in your combat. Um, and then there are other types of cards in here as well. So there's those kind of directional ones. Like this one looks a little bit different, but just to give you an idea of what these look like. So I definitely think these have to do with your flight, not necessarily attacks, but more just your movement. So maybe this is how you move in the game. You just luck of the draw, my guess. Um, and then we have, all right, there is a card right here. 
It says Aubrey Cyril Baker, um, 610 Squadron. All right, so this card looks like it's like a pilot like, or like a character. It says 610 Squadron, County of Chester, Royal Air Force, Sergeant Aubrey Cyril Baker. And then it has a picture of an airplane and it matches one of the ones that are in here. So I don't exactly know why he has all of these together um, or what exactly they do because then this one right here, like some of these in the back, like this one says spluttering engines. If the optional rule is in use, overdrives can only be played if the card before the stall starting them is a straight maneuver. So like an um, event. So some of these look like they have different events or like this one says daredevil. So like different special maneuvers um, and then the directional ones. And then we had that one off of the plane. So these are all different, but I think most of them have the letter A on them. So I guess, I don't know if that would be right or wrong. Maybe depending on what side you're on, depends on what deck you get access to. And then I think like, oh, here's some more. Oh no, these have the same name on the back of them. Aubrey Cyril Baker. So that must be the pilot of a specific plane. And if you have that plane, maybe this is the deck that you draw from. And maybe it is a deck based game as far as your maneuvers Maybe you get an option and you still obviously are going to be, it's not just like you turn a card and, you know, I'm assuming you still have some control over what you do and when you do it. Maybe this gives you options or maybe this throws a wrench into your plan to make it a little harder. Um, so that is one um, stack of cards and I'm just going to peek through these. Are these all the same just for the different... Yeah, see these have the letter A on them as well, but then we have Douglas Frederick Corf, Corfy, whatever. Um, more of those directional ones. Um, see if there's anything different in this pile. Just some more of those kind of event type cards. And yeah, um, no planes that I saw in this pile, but these have the letter A on them as well. Maybe the, the A, because I saw those on the counters. Maybe that is your plane, or maybe that has to do with I don't know. I really don't know. I would just be blindly guessing right now. Um, these are definitely different. This is what it looks like on, I'm assuming, the front of the card. And in the back, we have more of those arrows and directional things. Let me just skim through these to see. Because like I said, when I guess these now, I don't want to... Oh, okay, here we go. This one has like three... Um, are those missiles? There's three on the side and then one on this side. So this must have to do with an attack. Um, yeah, see, and then this, what is that? I don't even know what those are. What are those? I have no idea. They look like a bunch of stingrays, but I'm assuming they're not stingrays flying in the sky. But that's what they look like. It, to me, that looks like a combat type of card. Um, there's a bunch of those with just different numbers. There's just different things on the front and back. These all look like they are fighting related. So these don't look so much flight related as they do actual engaging in combat. So um, these two had more events and directions. This one has this one has a direction on it, but it also has these missiles on it. So this one probably has to do more with your fighting. So maybe this is what you draw out of to decide or to figure out what attack you are going to be able to use or have the option to use. All right, this stack of cards, these three say crew skill. No, they don't. This one says crew skill. They're a little bit different. Um, these look like more like special things. These say the letter B on them and they have more directions. So yeah, I feel like the directions definitely are, and then this is a different plane on the front of the, or on the back of this one. And it says, Luftwaffe. <laughs> I probably butchered that with a number five. Nine Jagdishwater to Richtendoffen. It's German. I know that, but I don't know what it means. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can't figure out just from what I've looked at if these cards are for each player and each plane specific or if they're like community and everyone draws from them. I, I'm leaning more towards that they're specific to a certain player 
and plain, but I have no definitive proof of that. I can see him in my peripheral shaking his head, so I'm gonna lean more towards the latter that they're for each individual plane. Um, and then here is the last one. We have another plane on this one, and this one says more German words, and the number 13, more directional cards. I'm trying to see if there's anything different in here that I don't wanna miss anything major. And then some more like event style cards. So I think the cards, since there seems to be one, two, three, four, there's five different little stacks of cards. There's four planes. I'm assuming each of these goes to one of these planes. And then there's a, there's like, I think the one that was different was like the fighting one isn't specific to each plane. That's like a, everyone draws from that same deck for the fighting or the attacks or the combat, whatever you want to call it. And then the maneuvers and the special abilities are specific to the planes. So that's my guess with that. Now this, I can't remember what the other thing was that it said on this box. What did it say? That's upside down. Um, four maneuver decks. So yeah, maneuver decks. So that's what those were. Um, 18 special cards. Rule book, four airplane consoles, two measuring rulers. I don't know, are these part of the game? Like, are these pieces to the game? I can't, are these like hangers where you keep your plane? Oh, okay, I see, it's making sense now. They look, there's four of them, two green and two gray. Um, they just say Wings of Glory on it. They have the same thing on the front and the back of all of them. Um, but it just looks like each player, I guess it's one to four, did it say how many player? Four, two, four. Oh, for two or more players. Okay, so yeah, these are what you get to keep. It looks like you can put your little deck of cards right here. That's what I'm guessing this is for. The back, though, I don't know how that works and how you would be able to use the front and the back if you had your cards stacked on it. Like, I don't know what this side is for. Maybe it's for a different, I don't know. But that's what I think this is. I think this is each player gets one of these and you can keep your cards and flip it and that kind of thing. It keeps, it, it's a little, it's a way to stay better organized, I guess you could say. So let's take these planes out because that's what I've been dying to do this whole time. Oh no, I don't want to break them. They're so little, but they don't want to pop out. Can we pop it out for you? Okay, this one came out. This one wasn't wanting to come out. There we go. So we have two that look identical. So yeah, it looks like two of each. This is the first two. And no, the propeller does not turn, unfortunately. That's okay, I'll pop this one back in here. I'll just pop one of these. Does it matter which one of these you put it on or are they universal, the bases? I think the bases are universal. So that's how you put it together. I would probably add some glue. It's not like super stable, but it's not very wiggly. No, he says no glue. It actually, once you get it down in there, you just kind of have to twist it a little bit. It's it's pretty good. So as long as you're not letting a three-year-old play with them or you're not throwing them around, it should be good. But this is the base. The arrow is pointing this way when I'm looking down at it. So I'm assuming that's the way the plane faces. Um, but so you have four of these for each of your planes. Let me show you the other two real quick. And then I'll summarize my final guess. So these are the other two planes. Very, very cute. I really like them. They feel like, like they're not plastic. And like the detail on these is crazy. Like there's a little cockpit and they've got, like it's not like they just have the tops painted. The bottom is painted. There's little like wheels painted on it. There's a little um, missile or what? It, what is that? A torpedo type of thing on the bottom of them. So they are very detailed and very um, adorable. <laughs> This is my favorite part. This is my favorite game I've guessed just because it has actual planes. And I just love, I wouldn't even want to use the stand. I would just want to fly these around <laughs> and just keep track of it. But when it's time for me to move or attack, I would want to pick it up off the board and I would want to fly it and make the sounds. And that would be probably mine and my three-year-old son's ideal way to play this game. So I don't know what that says about me. But anyways, my final guess for this based on all of the pieces and just trying to piece it together, um, is that it is obviously a 
air combat game. It takes place in the air, you're flying planes. Um, it says two or more players, so I'm assuming since there's four planes, you could play up to four players, but I don't know if it's like one versus, you know, you're, you're all versing each other, or if it's like a team because two planes, like there's two of each, you know what I mean? Two for this side, two for that side, if it's like a that kind of play or what. But I do think the decks, four of the decks, I think go for each of the planes. And then I think that the one that had more of the missiles and the stingrays in the sky, I think that one is more of a universal deck that like everybody gets to draw from. And I think it's a deck, <clears throat> excuse me, a deck driven type of, of combat game. And I think you draw and it tells you, you know, what you can do as far as movement and what you can do as far as your combat goes. And you try to beat the other team. You try to damage them. The tokens had stuff about damage and repair. So I'm assuming tokens come into play and you can repair your plane. So it's not like you take one hit and you're down. So it doesn't say a time frame or I didn't see a t like a play time on it. Um, so I don't know how long it would take to play, but I'm assuming it's a pretty fun game. Um, but yeah, that's my guess. It's just a combat game, kind of deck driven. There's no dice in here. There are rulers. So you're definitely measuring maneuvers and you're measuring distance to see how far you can shoot when you're, when you are able to fire at another plane. So I hope that guess makes sense because it's kind of like my last one all over the place, but that's what I think this is in, in summary. So like I said earlier, um, I was going to mention that he's doing a playthrough of this and I'm actually going to do a playthrough of this with him because as it says, it's for two or more players, but there is an unofficial solitary um, system on BGG.com. Um, I think it's free and you, I guess it's maybe just something you can print off a sheet that makes it solitaire. So what he's going to do and what I'm going to help him with is we're going to kind of put that solo system to the test or that solitary system to the test and see if it holds up, like if it's a really good solitary system, meaning if someone like me who does not ever play these games, who really knows hardly anything about them whatsoever, if I play him, um, is that going to be easier than the solitary system? Basically, he wants to see if he, I don't know, finish the words. I'm trying to explain it, but I don't know exactly what your goal is with me playing versus the solitary playing. Which one gives me a better run for my money? And you the solitary the system. system in theory should give you more of a fight than I should because I don't know what I'm doing. So there's going to be two playthroughs on this one with me, which probably won't be very informative, but it'll tell him what he needs to know when he plays the solitary one. So um, I did want to mention that and I think that wraps it up. So yeah, this is Wings of Glory, uh, Battle of Britain. Um, definitely my favorite because of these little cuties right here. Like I said, I would take it right off the stand and just fly them around. We're going to have to definitely keep this up though, hon, because if Bradley sees them, it's, it's over with. He's going to be obsessed with them and want to play with them because for some reason the kid has a million toys, but any of daddy's toys that aren't actually toys, those matter more than anything else. Look. Yeah. Here, come under. Come here. Look, it's like on your shirt. It's an airplane. Look at your shirt. It's an airplane. <gasps> so you go pew, 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 pew. Oh, I got you. Oh, you got me. I crashed. Oh, no. Shoo, 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 shoo. Yay, I won. I so I hope you guys enjoyed this and be sure to subscribe. And if you're going to be at the, what are they even called? I keep, I think I keep saying it wrong. The convention we're going to next month. What's it called? WBC. The WBC. If you're going to be there, then we will be there as well for the full week, I think. Is it a week long? We'll be there the whole time. We're very excited. Um, so stop in and say hello and be sure to um, like and check out more of his videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.